Hey, I am Julie, a fan Balzer, and you probably know me mostly from all of my art videos. And my wagon story actually is an art story, but then it changes a little bit. So many years ago, when I was first teaching, I bought a little red wagon that I could bring my art supplies to class, right? Especially if I was going like from car to class and it was a long hike or anything like that, I wanted to be able to fill it with art supplies. And I just, you know, couldn't carry everything and didn't want to make a thousand trips. So fast forward a couple of years, we had a baby and he wasn't always happy in his stroller. So he really liked to ride in the wagon, which was great, except that... The wagon was really heavy to pull and it didn't have great um, turning radius. He's always like ended up sitting basically if his shoes were dirty and dirt and it was all the problems you'd expect. Before I forget, one of the most important things is that the regular wagon didn't have brakes, which you can imagine child in wagon, hill, not great, not great. So then I started reading about all of these stroller wagons and it's the idea where you combine the best things about a stroller with a wagon, totally genius. And so I did a ton of research online and I found the brand that I thought would be right for me and my family. So after doing some research and reading a lot of reviews and thinking about how I was gonna use it and all that kind of stuff, I finally decided that the Keens wagon was for me. Now, full disclosure, I did get this wagon for free from Keens in exchange for this video. Nonetheless, this is my totally honest take on the Keens wagon. So it arrived in a big box ready to assemble and we popped open the instructions and assembled it. And I'm not gonna go over all of that because there are lots of videos online, including from Keens that'll take you through the process if you need that. I thought I would take you through my top five features of our Keen's wagon. Well, number one has to be just the safety things, right? So one, it's got brakes, hooray, and it's that easy push brake where you just step on it. Number two, well, I'm just going to count all of this as one thing, which is safety, but the other safety issue, of course, is that the kids all can have um, five-point harnesses, so I know that nobody is climbing out, climbing over each other, all that kind of nonsense that you know happens. Now, I know what you're thinking. Julie, you only have one child. Why did you get a wagon for four children? Well, there's a couple reasons, and I'll show them to you. So first off, I have a big kid and he likes to spread out. And so while I have had him next to a friend in the wagon, I have found that he prefers to be on the side by himself. And Keens has already thought about this. So as you can see, you can actually move the straps so that they're actually just in the center. So you could have two larger kids as opposed to four little kids. The second thing that I absolutely love about my Keen's wagon is the huge roof with the blackout curtains. Plus, it's got tons of ventilation. Now, at first, I wasn't sure if my little guy would be into having the blackout curtains. I thought he's going to want to see everything. But actually, when we're out, he asks for the blackout curtains to be down all the time, which I find really interesting. I think he feels sort of cocooned and safe in there. And the thing that I like, of course, is that even though there are blackout curtains, the wagon is so ventilated and I never feel like he's in there suffocating. One thing that I really appreciate about the ventilated sides is it definitely keeps kids from having that whole reaching out and touching everything a problem, right? Which is awesome. Keeps them in there contained and yet they can still see everything. Still very breathable. The little Velcro attachments are awesome. It's very thoughtfully put together. So there are all these little sort of, I guess you would call them, it's like a loop and a toggle. And what you do is you can scrunch up just the blackout curtains or you can scrunch up the blackout curtains and the breathing breathable panels, you know, so that they're out of the way. You just don't have to think about like, what am I going to do with this? Even the roof itself is ventilated. So if your little one wants a skylight or you just don't want any leaves or nuts or whatever else is falling from the sky to fall on your little guys, but you still want to have that roof up there, you've got it. And speaking of ventilation, I just also wanted to mention the ventilated sides, which again, you can close or you can keep open. And because of the flexible ventilation, it means that the wagon is suitable for warm weather, cold weather. You can keep your little guys bundled up or you can let them breathe. And I do want to note that these lower drapes that come down over the leg area, they have magnets on the edges and that's how they stay in place, which is really nice. Okay, so thing number three that I love about my Keen's wagon has got to be all of the storage. So, you know, I've had this traditional little red wagon forever, and the problem with it, of course, is that you're putting everything in the same compartment as the kit, right? Well, that doesn't really work. So the Keen's wagon has storage, thoughtful storage everywhere. Let me show you. 
So you've got a big bag, which I believe on some models has insulation in it. This one isn't, but you could certainly put in a cooler if you wanted to. But one of the things I really love about it, besides the outside pockets, which of course are great, is the shoe storage. Like I said before, my son loves to run around and he definitely gets his feet dirty and so do his friends. And so it's nice to be able to stash their shoes, also sandy shoes, also anything that's kind of wet and gross, bathing suits, etc into the ventilated shoe storage that's underneath here so it doesn't mix and mingle with everything else. Then there are these awesome saddle bags on the side with lots of pockets, lots of storage. We like to keep like tote bags and other stuff stashed away here that we might need, also treats for the kids, all that kind of good stuff. And finally, on the other side, now it's hard to say whether it's the back or the front because this is a push-pull wagon. You can go both ways with it. There are handlebars on both sides. But on this side, which I think of as the back because the brake is there, there is this huge bag that you can store lots of stuff. In fact, that's where I usually store the roof so that if I don't want to have it up, I still have it with me if I change my mind. But you can also put a backpack in there or whatever else you need. It's obviously not meant to hold the roof, so you can see that the roof just sticks out of the top but it's totally fine because that's the nice part about having a big open bag. So thing number four that I adore about my Keen's wagon that is totally different from my Little Red wagon or in fact really any wagon I've seen is the amazing seats. Okay, so comfortable for my two and a half year old. His friends love riding it. I've even had some bigger kids six, seven-year-olds who are desperate to get into the wagon because, again, you're not just sitting on your butt with your legs out flat and a totally bumpy ride. You've got these fantastic seats that are actually like seats. The seats even have a tiny little padded strip right where your child's knees go so that the back of their knees is nice and comfy as they roll over the edge of the seat. I love that my kids' comfort has really been thought about. Now, I suppose this isn't technically about the seats, although it kind of is, but one of the really nice things is my kid is super high, right? He's tall when he's in these seats. The wagon itself is tall, and then the seats are extra tall, so it means that he really gets a good view of everything, which I know he loves. So the fifth thing that I love about the wagon, and that makes such a huge difference in my life, is the removable tray. It's like a little table. It has edges kind of like on a ship or something so things don't roll off. It has drink holders so that you can easily put the drinks right there on it so they don't roll around. Um, there are also side pockets inside that the child can access as well. But the thing that I love about it is it holds a bento box. It holds two bento boxes so my son and one of his friends can sit there and eat dinner, have a meal while we're on the go. It's not messy. It's not all over. And I have to say we've used this actually quite a bit and actually my son has requested several times to have, and I quote, dinner in the wagon. So he really enjoys it. I really like the flexibility of the Keens stroller wagon. You can push it, you can pull it, you can have more storage, less storage. You can have a roof, no roof. You can have ventilation, no ventilation. You can have four kids in it, you can have two kids in it, you can have one kid in it, you know? There are a lot of possibilities. It also you can put a lot of art supplies in there too. It does fold up. It does fit in the back of my SUV, which is great. Um, and again, I think that this is something that my son is going to love for a long time, not just for a little time. And I love that we can do things like go to the zoo with another family and we bring just the wagon. We don't both have to bring strollers, you know, and then when they want to get out, you don't have parents who are trying to mind the strollers and the kids and the this and the that. It just makes everything more simple. And I'm all for simple in my life these days. So we've taken it on some rough terrain, grass, wood chips, gravel, that kind of stuff. It does a really seamless job hopping from one surface to the next. And that is awesome. So my overall assessment is that we love it. We use it all the time. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to do in the snow, but I guess we'll find that one out. I would say my son really loves it and he's willing to ride in it all the time, which really makes a huge difference because he's at the age where he just wants to run around and touch everything. But if I can keep him contained in the wagon, it makes outings a little easier. Um, it is heavy. It is a big thing. I don't think you have to get like the biggest four seater. You could absolutely do the two seater, but I like the luxury touches. And I know that my little guy is so spoiled and he's loving it too. So I'm gonna go fill the wagon with some art supplies and we'll see if my son gets it back. If you like this video, I hope that you will like it, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And if you have a stroller wagon, I'd love to know if you love yours, what brand it is, all that good stuff.